Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. First of all, if you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, you can find links in the description box. My today's video is on, Direct Acting and Reverse Acting Actuator. In this video, I will identify each component of Direct Acting and Reverse Acting Actuator. As you can see, this is a direct acting actuator. And I will identify each component from top to bottom. As you can see, first number part is loading pressure connection. Second number part is diaphragm casing. Third number part is diaphragm and stem, which is shown in up position. Fourth number part is diaphragm plate. Fifth number part is actuator spring. Sixth number part is actuator stem. Seventh number part is spring seat. Eight number part is spring adjuster. Ninth number part is stem connector. Tenth number part is yoke. Eleventh number part is travel indicator. And twelfth number part is indicator scale. As you can see from the picture of reverse acting actuator, all the parts are same as the direct acting actuator except diaphragm and stem. In reverse acting actuator, diaphragm and stem must be in downward position. This is the only difference between direct acting actuator and reverse acting actuator. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And if you think this video is informative for you and others, then please share this video with your friends. And please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification, when we post next video on the channel. And if you have any questions about this video, please feel free to ask me in comment box. I will try to give best possible answers to your questions.